Get inside, look. B17. about is this B-52 uh, Strata Fortress. Now this airplane first flew in uh, 1952. Uh, the Air Force has decided to keep it on service until 2050 and I will bet you that they're going to keep at least one example until 2052 and that will give this aircraft the distinction of being the only the first aircraft to serve 100 years of active duty service. Now that B-52 uh, a type like that, NASA was uh, given the aircraft, they were, they were uh, stress testing it, and they, were, they flew it so well that the, that rudder, see where that LA, the orange tip there, that was completely sheared off the airframe. Now the, the crew being a quick and intelligent air crew, they dirtied the airplane up by lowering the uh, flaps and they lowered the rear landing gear and they flew it for another six hours to burn off fuel. And then to turn it, they would advance or decrease the left or right side of the aircraft engines to give it, to turn it. And then they landed it safely. It was rebuilt and it flew through Vietnam and then it was retired here to Davis Mine. If you look at that nose, you can, you can follow it around and you can see the hinging of it. And that, all, that will hinge open just like a, a snake's jaw and that whole nose will go up over the top of the canopy there. And what's interesting is these uh, landing gear are hydraulically operated and they can be lowered down so that the aircraft kneels down and the nose is closer to truck level for loading and unloading. And the an interesting thing about this aircraft is this fuselage or the body of the aircraft, the storage area, is one foot longer than the original manned warfare and submerged warfare tracking aircraft. The F-15 here on the right, the one without the nose, if you notice it has a green star on the fuselage. The next aircraft over is the F-111 Aardvark, and you can see how it has that long nose, and so you can see how it got its name. Now the thing about this aircraft is it was designed for the Navy and uh, naval operation but it's retired now. Okay, right here. All right, we're still on the right side of the bus, and we're going to talk about this B-57 Canabira. And it's the gray aircraft with the orange nose and the orange tail and the, and, uh, the engine on each wing there. Now, what you're looking at, folks, this is the oldest aircraft in this park. This is a, originally, it's an English aircraft, and the Americans liked it so much that they uh, licensed built it in the States and they, we called it the B-57. And this aircraft was used to, uh, quite a bit in Vietnam. They were painted black and they used them as interdiction aircraft along the Ho Chi Minh Trail. And they did a great job. But NASA still flies this airplane. And uh, that's the one that, uh, similar to this, but a more advanced uh, developed aircraft was the type that flew that solar the solar missions. Now we'll stay right here, but we're going to switch over to the left side of the bus. And so what they'll do is they'll, they'll bring them back into flight status. They'll fly them to uh, Florida. Each one of these aircraft will fly approximately 200 hours of, uh, of uh, data gathering flights. And then after that, they'll be turned into uh, drones and they'll be shot down by Allied and American forces to know that the pilots and their weapon systems can engage it.